Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, and I'm going to be sharing my progress this week in the 30 Days of Bible Lettering Challenge. If you have missed out on the beginning, you can start any time. No need to have begun from the start. Just write out the verse and share it online. You never know who you're going to bless by sharing God's Word. So I'm going to start with Monday with God. All things are possible. What a great verse for a Monday. And I put confetti on mine because that is worth celebrating. All things are possible with God. So that one's definitely going to go in my Bible at some point because it was easy to do and a whole lot of fun to put confetti on things. Second one was let us love with actions and in truth. Just some simple lettering. Had fun applying color to this one and you know just using some fun bright colors for this. I used a couple of banners on be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer to highlight those different words by putting banners behind them. And I was in a banner mood the next day, so I added a banner for strive. And then I'm using watercolor pencil, so I wanted to show you how I made a very simple glow around a word. I just put a little of the pencil down and then used a baby wipe to tap the color so that it kind of spread it out, softened the edges. And while it was drying, I put a line around the word Strive's banner so that I could give that a little bit more emphasis. And I got the inspiration to put these little lines on there by seeing what somebody else had done on the hashtag when I looked at other people's work. They did that on a different day, and I thought that looked like a cool idea to put on a banner. So that's one of the fun things to do. I will put the link to the whole hashtag so that you can go and look and see what everybody else has been doing. And you can see how simple some people get with it. Some people get really fancy with this challenge. Others are nice and simple. And then there's people like me who just use a pencil. Because, yeah, I'm just doing pencil for all of mine over on uh, Instagram. And I just show the finished piece, but I show you just the, the black and white pencil sketch that I'm doing for each one. For this I also made my O's really big because this is about people because we're doing what's good for each other. So I put people in my O's just to be silly and fun. And that's one of the good things about Bible lettering. You can do anything you want with it. Next up he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. And I used color to emphasize the important words that I saw in that that day wanted to focus on the strength and the power. In this verse, I use the word who to emphasize with question marks around it. And I wasn't really sure if that's what I wanted to do, so I got the lettering finished first. And then I thought I'd try something different with that. And I wished that I had gone the other direction. I still could add other question marks around it, but I decided to put them inside the O. And maybe that was not the best idea. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments if you think that the question marks flying around it were better. And then on this one, commit to the Lord whatever you do. And I just put some wonky shaped blocks behind a couple of the words to emphasize them. This is one of my favorite verses. I love the, the whole concept of committing everything to the Lord, no matter what it is that we're doing. Here is the progress so far on my big piece that I'm creating with all of these scriptures on it. Yowza! We're getting there. We're, we're getting it filled in little by little. I'll see you again next week with more progress. Bye-bye.